So it depends. Um, I think that um, there are certain areas that we do see opportunity for growth. Um, in the enterprise or B2B space, um, information um, is exploding, right? Um, at the advent of the internet and so forth. And so we see that storage, for example, is an area that actually there is growth. And so that's a market that's growing. And, and in fact, um, we see in the higher end uh, of business computing, actually, um, a transformation that's going on. People are spending money on things like green, um, being environmentally sustainable. And so there is growth in certain pockets in certain areas. Um, where we are seeing a challenge in terms of growth is in what we'll call more the commodity space or the volume space. So be it in the PC marketplace or the printer marketplace in some areas as well too. And so what we have to do is we've got to, and the, the, very, the biggest challenge we have, by the way, is what's the market going to be like in six months from now? Uh, especially in a volume-based business where every single day, I mean, if our sales are down, um, in a given day or a given week, then the following week we have to sell twice as much or we have to quickly realign our costs, which then you start to get into this vicious cycle of making decisions that aren't necessarily strategic. Um, and so the, the trick is to actually have that foresight and to understand the volume piece of the business and to be, be honest with you, very conservative in that area. Um, where then trying to tap in and mine the areas where there's greater opportunity and then putting a lot more muscle and a lot more investment and funding and resources um, such that you capitalize and you, know, you take the share um, gains in, in those growth areas. Well, I think the key is um, just staying very customer focused, um, using your insights to understand what the consumer is demanding in the marketplace. During tough times, the market um, oftentimes contracts and the pie gets a little bit uh, smaller but there's still plenty of customers out there and plenty of opportunities to grow. And I think if you really understand what innovation can bring to the business, developing new brand features that give um, consumers more reasons to visit and more reasons to come, um, and then supporting those in a pretty dynamic way, creating some retail energy and, um, and staying true to what your brand stands for, uh, I think you can grow in this kind of an economy. Um, value is just one component of it. Value is critical. But um, across the entire business, there's lots of different reasons why consumers choose certain brands. And as long as you're really tapped into what that, what that means for you, staying relevant and um, connecting with consumers, I think, you, I think you can win in an economy like this.